Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Tuesday, November 7th. I'm Julie Chang for The Wall Street Journal. Deepfakes, or digitally altered images and videos, have exploded, along with the availability of free or cheap artificial intelligence tools. In a town outside New York City, high school girls found out that some students were sharing fake, nude images of them. Our family and tech columnist Julie Jargon has been reporting on this, and she's with me now. Julie, can you start by telling us what happened here? Several girls at Westfield High School in New Jersey noticed that some of their male classmates were acting a little funny. They were whispering among themselves, being quieter than normal. And then one of the boys told a group of girls what all of the whispering was about. It turns out that at least one student had used an AI-powered website to make pornographic images of the girls using their photos that were found online and then shared them with other boys in group chats. You mentioned an AI-powered website. Can you tell us more about the tech being used here? My understanding was that it was generative AI. I haven't been able to confirm with any authorities exactly which website it was. So there are dozens of face swapping and clothes removing AI websites that are either free or inexpensive. So it's really easy for people to find AI generating websites that can create fake pornographic images of people. So Julie, you've been speaking with the girls, their parents. What have they said about all of this? Well, a lot of the girls, it felt like not only was this an invasion of privacy, but that it made them feel powerless. A lot of the parents are really worried about how and and when these images might surface. You know, if these girls are applying for college or jobs in the future, if these images should show up in any sort of search, they'll be left having to explain what this all was about. But some of the girls now are saying that they want to become advocates for victims of this kind of situation and want to speak out about it. And what about school officials or authorities? What have they said about this whole situation? So the school officials haven't said too much. They haven't said how many students were involved or whether any disciplinary action had been taken. They did send out an email to parents. The principal of Westfield High School in an email to parents said that she believed the images had been deleted and weren't being circulated. She called it a very serious incident and said that the school will continue teaching children about responsible technology use. And she encouraged parents to do the same. The police department in Westfield, New Jersey, is investigating this situation. And I spoke to the mayor of Westfield, and she was encouraging other people to come forward and provide statements to the police so that they can fully investigate this. As of when I published the story, four parents had filed police reports about this incident. The other group involved in all of this is the tech companies, the AI companies. Have you reached out to any of them? What have they said about the situation? I spoke to the CEO of Reality Defender, which is a company that works with government agencies and private companies to detect AI-generated fake images. And what they said is that it's just so much easier now than it was just a couple of years ago to generate fake images and that they've become a lot more believable. It used to be easier to detect when something was a fake image. Now it's really difficult for the human eye to distinguish real from fake. So what kinds of rights or protections do children or their parents have here? At the moment, there's no federal law criminalizing the distribution of faked porn. However, there are laws covering child sex abuse material that could apply in this situation because those types of laws prohibit digital images and computer-generated images of minors. There are a handful of states that have specifically created laws outlawing the distribution of faked porn or that have given victims the right to sue the creators of such faked porn in civil court. The state of New Jersey currently has a bill pending in the state legislature that would criminalize the sharing of such material. And there was another case involving fake porn that recently did result in criminal charges. A 22-year-old Long Island man in April was sentenced to six months in jail for creating and posting faked images depicting women from his old high school. So we're going to see more situations like this popping up at probably high schools around the country, maybe colleges, and more state laws that would prohibit this type of material from being distributed. And the Biden administration just recently issued a broad executive order on AI, which called for the prevention of generative AI 
from producing child sexual abuse material. All right, that was our family and tech columnist, Julie Jargon. And that's it for Tech News Briefing. Today's show was produced by Anthony Bancy with supervising producer Melanie Roy. I'm Julie Chang for The Wall Street Journal. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for listening.